Hey friend, it's Kenji. We're gonna make some fatty melts. Hamburger fatty melts. Um, this is a recipe um, that, well, I thought it was invented by my friend um, and, and former colleague, um, Adam Kuban, who used to run the blogs um, A Hamburger Today and Slice, which we eventually became part of Serious Eats, and then he was running Serious Eats for a while, which is where we worked together. Um, but I talked to him, he's like, yeah, probably existed before I did it, but he came up with the name, I think, and, uh, and his innovation was using very thin slices of bread on it. Um, he recommends using Pepperidge Farm Thin Cut, but I can't get that on the West Coast, so I'm using the Shokupan uh, that I'm slicing into slices that are about half the thickness of a normal slice of bread, I'd say. I'm using a, uh, like a meat slicer for this slicing knife as opposed to a bread knife. All right. Actually, I haven't even explained what a fatty melt is yet, huh? All right, so a fatty melt is a melt, a patty melt, but instead of, uh, but instead of two slices of bread on either side of a burger bun, of a burger patty, we're gonna do two grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, so I've got my griddle going pretty low heat right now because I want to toast my bread nice and evenly. Four slices of bread. Okay. We're gonna let those toast nice and even. Put some of these uh, chef's press weights on them to make sure that they get some good contact on the pan there. Okay. And then the only other ingredients we got are American cheese, a few slices, Ground beef, we want pretty fatty ground beef, so this is 80-20, so 80% lean, 20% fat. Um, I'm just gonna season that up with some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt, salt. Pepper, pepper. So my innovation here today is that I'm doing this smash style with onions, like Oklahoma onion burger style, inside the fatty melt, instead of just one big thick patty. So these are two two ounce balls of beef, so total of a quarter pound, and then, I'm doing this onion. This is the world's largest onion. I found it at the farmer's market. I have no idea how they get onions this big, um, but we're not gonna use the whole thing. I'm gonna cut off a chunk of it that's big enough, small enough that I can uh, get it onto the mandolin there. My daughter and I, we play this game where, uh, you know, I'll name a food and she has to tell me whether it's a Anytime food, a sometimes food, or an almost never food. Um, so like an anytime food would be carrots, an apple. You can have as many of those as you want. A sometimes food would be like pizza. You know, we can have that like once a week maybe. And a almost never food would be something like an ice cream sundae. You know, maybe once a month we'll get an ice cream sundae, if, if that. A fatty melt should be in a category of its own, like a literally never, unless you're trying to kill yourself or score internet points, food. But it is delicious. All right, let's see how these are doing. So this first side, I don't mind if it's not perfectly toasted. I just want to warm it up a little. But it's looking pretty good anyway, actually. Okay. That's gonna be the inside of our grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay. Get a little more butter. So it's the outsides. I know some people are surprised when I, that I put butter on the griddle and melt it instead of spreading butter onto the uh, bread before putting it on. Um, which I which I never understood. It's like to me, it makes more sense to put it on the griddle um, because it melts more evenly, and you get this nice even contact with the griddle. Um, plus, I, I simply generally don't keep my butter out at room temperature. I know some people have butter bells, and I've tried to use those before, but I find that my butter always goes off before uh, turns into like cheese before I'm able to use it all. 
That's it. I had I had a, de a debate once with um, my old friend Josh Ozerski, who passed away a number of years ago. But uh, he um, is a great food writer, and uh, we had a debate about this about when you should butter the bread for the grilled cheese. And uh, you know, I always said butter the griddle and put the bread on, and he said no, butter the bread. And then I said, well, I don't keep uh, I don't keep my butter at room temperature, so I can't. And he his response was that this is why God invented the microwave, which I, yeah, all right. I guess you can microwave your butter to soften it. All right, so I'm getting that second, I'm getting that uh, second slice of bread nice and toasted. Second side, that is. Okay, so these are gonna go on the inside there. And I'll lay these down. And so basically what we're doing is we're making two very thin grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, so onions sliced extremely thin on a mandolin. Uh, pull to pull, uh, sorry, you wanna slice it orbitally, so as if you're making onion rings, um, because that's going to rupture more onion cells. Um, you can see the way the cells are kind of oriented when you look at them under a microscope. Like, you know, my daughter has a microscope now, and I think virtually everyone who went through middle school in the US at least, the first thing you look at under a microscope is a hair, and then after that you look at onion skin. Um, and so you probably noticed when you were looking at your onion skin uh, under a microscope that the cells are elongated in one direction. Um, and so when you slice against uh, that grain, when you slice orbitally as opposed to from pole to pole on the onion, um, you end up rupturing more onion cells and releasing more onion juices and sort of getting more onion flavor out, which can be a good or a bad thing, but um, you know, depending on how pungent you want your onion. In this case, I like it pretty pungent. All right, we are almost done with these grilled cheeses. I'm not gonna bore you and make you watch me toast the second side of this, but needless to say, I'm gonna toast the second side of these grilled cheeses, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the heat till it's ripping hot so that we can cook our burger, okay? So I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, so um, the grilled cheese is done. The thing, I kicked it up to high heat. You see it's starting to smoke just a teeny bit. Um, I just wiped off all the excess butter because you don't want it to be greased when you put the meat on there. Okay. Um, and so the meat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it season side down. Okay. Actually, I don't know why I don't need that parchment because normally I would put parchment if I was going to um, smash just the patties um, so that the spatula doesn't stick to the patties. Um, you put the parchment in between the meat and the bottom of the spatula. But if you have the onions like this, you don't really need that. So I'm gonna skip the, skip the parchment. Okay, and then we're gonna smash. I'm gonna kinda get, make sure the edges are smashed down. All right, now I'm just gonna let that do its thing. And now I'll season up that second side. Salt, pepper. So if I was gonna do this with a spatula now, and I'll link to my other video, my onion burger, my smash burger videos, but um, I would flip the spatula over and have it this way so you can get more leverage and really scrape your way under there when you're trying to get all that nice crust off. Uh, but I'm gonna use a superior tool today, which is a wallpaper scraper. So it's got a razor blade. Um, I bought this at uh, you know Home Depot. And this one will really get all that crust off. So you wanna kinda Work it from a few sides to make sure you don't tear that burger. Okay. Whew, look at that crust. All right. Now that we got our onion side down, on goes the cheese.
And because a slice of bread is a little bigger than a hamburger bun, I'm gonna kinda slightly, ever so slightly overlap these so I get some good coverage. And that, my friends, is a hamburger, fatty melt. Yes, you can have bacon. Yes, you can add a third grilled cheese in the middle. You can condiment it up if you'd like. But uh, whatever you do, you always wanna Make sure you cut into triangles. All right, ready? Ready to see what this looks like? Ooh. How is that for a almost never food, huh? All right, I'm on Shabu, come here. Shabu. Here you go, bud. Oh, here you go, Shabu. <laughs> all right. In before all the uh, this is why Americans are fat comments. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.